Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy II Pixel Remaster. Alright, see if I get my controller actually work here. Why is my controller working? Come on, controller. Wow, I was not expecting this. Sorry, viewers, a little bit of a hook, hiccup there. Oh, whoa, what was that? Just objects, unidentified flying objects just flying around. Anyway, now that I got my controller hooked up, Alright, let's make our way back to the town of Finn. I believe so. No, it's Altair. Altair. And I report back that, yeah, there was a survivor. Well, uh, not so much now, but there was. <laughs> Still working on my fire. I want to get fire up to level 3 and probably have um, Blizzard at the same level. Thunder, not too really worried about Thunder. Um, it's not really become relevant until a little later in the game, but believe me, it will become relevant. All right, got these critters, see if we've got anything. Ooh, a strength gain and an MP gain for Maria and magic, very nice, very nice. All right, let's head down here, see what we got. Probably we'll start using a little bit of magic with Guy. Guy's got a lot of HP. Um, I'd like to get everybody around 100 HP for the next dungeon, but hey, we'll see if we can get there. Fire, so you can get a little bit more stat gains. All right, a uh, little money, not terrible, I guess. I don't think we're gonna make any. Well, there are a couple purchases in the next area we're gonna make. Oh, another ambush! Man, Fury's Furion is just letting us down here. I thought he'd have high enough agility to kind of negate some of these ambushes, but apparently not. All right, just like always. Uh, let's get a little cure going on here. See if we can hopefully get an MP gain for Guy there. He's going to need that for the next dungeon. Next dungeon, it's not that it's difficult, but it can be a little long. Even though I pretty much have a heal bar for the dungeon. I'm going to get him ready. Alright, fire one at two action. Yep, there goes Fury. Let's see what we get here. Hey, fire level up to level three. Awesome. Just what we wanted. Now we're going to start working on Blizzard. Blizzard is really your boss killer because there's a lot of bosses in the early part of the game that are weak to Blizzard. Fire, it seems like most of the Meyer encounters um, have a weakness to fire. So that's why we really kind of want fire up to level 3. But let's report back real quick. Um, report back, just go to key items, choose the ring, and uh, about that. Um, I mean, he, he's he's had better days. Nope, he didn't say a word. Oh, you can let us have the ring. I mean, does it have any value? Oh. Hey, you're saying I'm brave. I'll, I'll take a compliment. Yep, yeah, yeah, we did that. You know, we... Oh, we need to find some Mithril. Okay. Let's see, go to learn, learn about Mithril, and let's ask her about the Mithril. Oh, okay. So we need to find someone named Joseph and Salamand. All right. Oh, I'll, hey, more party members, the better. Let's exit out of here and ask Mr. Minwu here. Oh, he's gonna give us a canoe too? Awesome! Now we have more party members! Sorry, AC Bailey, with Minwoo! Alright! And he offered to give us his canoe! Alright, now we can actually um, transverse uh, the little shallow water. More importantly, Minwoo is the classic white, heel, white mage heal bot. He has every good white magic spell. Lots of MP. Um, he does come with a staff and a copper curse, which I'll probably give the copper curse to someone. I'm not really that worried about it because, I mean, it's a little bit extra defense, but more importantly, it is considered light armor, which is really good. The main reason I haven't bought any heavy armor, just like in the previous playthrough, is heavy armor will weigh you down and cut your agility. And agility is so important in this game. Especially because Fear for Furion, it'll help you negate the ambushes and get some preemptive strikes. But more importantly, it will help you gain that that treasured, treasured 99% of aging. Alright, here we have a goblin. Let's freeze this goblin. And God, what am I gonna do with him? Really don't want to burn through his magic, even though he has 103. But I guess we can just cast teleport. Now, teleport is technically an instant death spell, but it's got very, very low accuracy until you get up to higher levels. Which I might be doing just to kind of give him something to do besides swinging with his um staff. Not that I'm with mine of swinging with the staff, because like I said, it's just not too not too much you can do. Oh, right there, if you've noticed that one different color um, sailor character, if you talk to him, he'll actually sell you to the next town. Which, I'm not going to worry about that. 
But here we're gonna buy two daggers for Guy there. Uh, could get a mace for Maria. I wouldn't really worry about it since she's not gonna be using that much magic. Let's go for Guy. Let's equip these daggers. A little less actual accuracy, but they hit a lot harder. And we're gonna sell our daggers, our knives, because we're not gonna need them. All right. And I do believe there is some white magic. I don't think there's anything different as far as um, armor here. So I wouldn't really worry about it. But there is some white magic. We want to buy the Protect and Shell Tome. Yeah, very nice equipment. Very nice spells. Shell um, ups your magic defense, while well, Protect ups your physical defense. So that's pretty nice. But more importantly, it gives guys something to do other than just attacking with his knives and wasting magic trying to cast Cure. Cure, you do want to get it kind of level up, like level two or maybe level three. But you really don't want to level up too much. You don't want it to cost too much. That's the problem. Because you're really not going to use that in combat unless you're definitely in trouble. Because the less HP you have at the end of the fight, the more chance you have for an HP gain. So just keep that in mind. Yep, but we will start casting protect. Hopefully we can get some spirit gains and maybe some MP gains for Guy. Because like I said, I want to get Guy up to around 40, 50 um, MP. Um... Probably during my off time um, between today's video and tomorrow's video, I'm going to grind up. And goals are going to be to, like I said, gain some good stat gains. But more importantly, get Blizzard up to level 3. And probably get Shell and Protect to level 2. And maybe a level up cure. I don't know. But more importantly, just to get those spells and those stats going. I also want to try and get everybody around 100 HP. Just to make the next dungeon a lot more tolerable. I mean, there's not a lot of hard enemies in that dungeon. It's just, it is kind of long. Hey, man, we'll get, when we get stuff. Ooh, and agility gains! Agility gains, agility gains. Love some agility gains. Yeah! All right, what we got here? A sprinter. I hate sprinters. They give nothing. Although, I think in this version of the game, it's a little bit more generous. Ooh, that didn't do much. Let's cast our protect. And have Fury and cut it in half with its broadsword. All right, got him. And ooh, HP and intellect gain. Very nice, very, very nice. The intellect does work in this this version of the game. It de uh, determines your damage with black magic spells. So definitely want to keep that up. All right, sorry about that, viewers. My dog heard something scratching at our door, and well, yeah, I have some pretty good guard guards. Get rid of these goblins. And new enemy here, goblin guards. They're just a more powerful version of goblins. They tend to sit in the back row as goblins will sit in the front of row. But they can use the ability to use their bows. I think it's the bow. I think it's bow one. And they can do some pretty good damage with it. So just kind of be careful with that. Um, especially the fact that we're not really wearing any armor. But Protect will give us a little bit more armor. If need be. I'm mostly doing it just to kind of hopefully gain some MP gains for Guy. And maybe we'll level up Protect and Shell to level two. All right, let's see what we got here. Hey, more HP and a little intellect buff. Nah, I will take all the intellect buff boosts I can get. Do some real damage with our spells. Ooh, six, six goblins. Ah, ah, ah. Same setup. I'm just having men will attack because really there's nothing else you can do. Uh, one thing I like about this game, though, um, is, I don't know if I mentioned in the previous episode, is that, um, say I have Maria swing with her staff and she gains a strength gain. Now, in the NES and the um, Final Fantasy Origins or the PlayStation 1 version, if you gain, get a strength gain, there's a good chance you'll get a negative intelligence gain. So that's why I really had her never really attacking because I didn't want that to happen. But in the PSP, um, the Dawn of Souls, Game Boy Advance, and this version, there are no negative stat gains, so if you want to have them attack instead of casting magic, it's not. there's no detriment to it, which I think is really nice. Oh, another ambush. Wow. Leg Eaters. So, I bet you'd have a field day with, um... Oh, crap, I can't remember her name. What's love? Oh, Tina Turner. I bet they have a field day with Tina Turner. Those legs are insured. I like Tina Turner. I don't care anyone says. I like Mrs. Tina Turner. What's love got to do? Got to do with it? What's Gil? But an underrated form of currency. All right. Enough of that nonsense. Hey, Blizzard's up to level two, and then we'll give a staff level and a strength gain. Very nice. Wow, I'm getting a lot of good gains here. Holy crap, that's really nice. Here we find the village of Salamand. 
Uh, yeah, let's get some healing up here. Just so it costs a little less. Hey, we got cure up to level 2. I really don't want to get it to level 3, though. But it will stay here at the end, kind of heal up our MP. Yep. Now, as I said in the previous episode, um, and the previous series, that the cost of N is determined on how much actual HP and MP you have to restore. So if you can use your cure spells or whatever to heal up first, it'll make the end a little bit cheaper. So just don't forget that. Here we have, oh, it's Joseph's house. You have a new sprite, so you must be Joseph. Ask him about the Mithril, see if he knows where it is. Perfect strangers. I used to like that show. Oh. So if we rescue those um, people enslaved by the Empire in the Senate Falls Cave, you'll let us know where the Mithril is. Alright, I'll have to remember that. But first, let's go over here to the weapon shop, because, yeah, we got some purchases to make. Yeah, long sword. Very nice upgrade for Fury in there. Equip, equip it. Yeah, a little less accuracy, but man, it hits a lot harder. And with our sword levels about to go up a lot, yeah, that accuracy is going to go up very, very fast. Although I don't know how it would be easier to swing a long sword than a broad sword, but oh well. Here, let's go to the armor shop, and here we have an upgrade to our shields, the bronze shield. Probably going to want to pick up two of them. One for Maria, Maria, and Furion. Equip those real quick. Yep, a little bit of an upgrade. See, it actually, in this game, it actually ups your defense by a little bit, so that's pretty nice. In other versions of Final Fantasy II, um, it doesn't really up your defense at all, it just ups your evasion, or ability to avoid attacks. So, a little bit of a change in this version of the game. Alright. Set so over here, let's see what kind of magic spells we can purchase here. Not gonna be able to afford any. Wow, that's some expensive stuff. Um, I wouldn't worry about the warp or teleport, we'll find those. But we definitely want to eventually pick up a life tome, because that's gonna be really useful. Maybe not to actually kill undead monsters like in other versions of the game, but if somebody, you know, one of our characters gets KO'd, we want our ability to kill them back. Uh, two sprinters, let's continue to work on Blizzard. Like I said, I'm gonna get Blizzard up to about level two. Well, no, level three, sorry, level three. So that's gonna be our boss killer. Ooh, look at that damage. There we go, got him, hooray. A little bit of money. Also, what I like about this version of the game, if you look at the upper right, that map is so nice. We actually have maps of dungeons. Makes it a lot easier. Uh, let's see. Seven goblins. Um, yeah, just go all out. Ooh, they're actually doing some damage, so we might get some more HP gains. Whoa, ha, ha, ha. Uh, yeah, let's get protect going. So we'll get, let's say we'll get protected at the level two. Shell, I'm not too worried about for right now because you're not going to worry about any enemies that really use magic for oh, quite some time. But there are a lot of enemies that use physical attacks, especially in the early game. So we can wipe out these goblins real quick. We use Blizzard. Alright, Blizzard 2. And Protect 1. One more strike and we should be good. Come on, give us an MP game. Come on. Guy needs all the MP he can get. Those are two. There we go. Let's see what we get for it. Hey, protect leveled up. Very nice. And agility game. Very nice. Ooh, magic MP gain. And MP for Guy. Very nice. And magic gain for him. Wow. Man, this is going really well. I'm impressed. Now, we're going to head over here. Ooh, we have new enemy, Vampire Thorns. They have a very high physical defense, if I'm not mistaken. But it won't matter when we cast Blizzard on them. If we work that Protect level 2, let's start working on Shell. Mainly because I just want to get level 2 eventually. So we get, oh, more HP for Minwu. That won't really matter because... Won't really matter. He's already got more than enough HP that we need. All right, head to Summit Falls. We're going to take this little river here, go down, and there's Summit Falls. But what awaits us inside Summit Falls? Okay, let's check our stats real quick. Can we find the prisoners within so that Joseph will let us know exactly where the Mithril is so we can stop the evil empire and get a whole lot better equipment? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy II Pixel Remaster. This is your ever-lovable host, Shadowblade730. Once again, if you like my content, please like, share, subscribe, maybe throw in a comment or two, and I will see you all next adventure.